Do you break toys? Yes, you did. <laughs> Good morning. It is Wednesday, uh, Thursday, um, November 29th, 2018. And I am freezing today. It's supposedly warmer than it has been, but I have an extra thick hoodie on today because I am freezing. I can't, I can't even, like, I'm cold. So, let's see. So, um, three days in a wake up is where I'm at with uh, surgery, Monday morning, or Monday, sometime Monday. Um, I went over calories yesterday, I believe. Um, no, I know I did. I know I went over the calories. Um, because I had a Atkins, um, chocolate chip cookie bar or something like that. And... Not even like really looking at the package because I had bought it before this diet. And so I know that it's high in protein. And so I didn't really pay attention this time. Like yesterday, I didn't pay attention to the calories. And then when I went to go skiing it in, I saw that the calories for just the, the bar was 250 calories. So I know I went over the, the calorie and the carb intake for yesterday. And again, I'm not overly worried because I don't think I have a big liver anyway. I'm pretty sure it's not that bad. Um, I don't do drugs. I don't smoke. I don't drink. Uh, you know, so. And I eat fairly well, um, fairly healthy. Um, so I don't really think it's going to be an issue. Um, the only concern that I have is you know, trying to stay within that food requirement as far as, you know, once the next stage comes, staying in that food requirement. Now, I did have um, cream of mushroom soup yesterday, so I know that I'm going to be able to have the cream of mushroom soup after surgery. Um, I just won't be able to have the chunks of mushrooms, but I know I'm going to be able to have the, the you know, the cream soups and stuff. I know I will be able to have that. And that was cream of, of mushroom soup was one of the soups that was on, on my list that I can have, you know, cream of chicken, cream of mushroom, cream of tomato. All of those were on, or maybe not tomato, maybe not tomato, but all of those were on the list that I can have right now. So I, I that's why I ate it. Um, I was really saving it for later, but I'll just, you know. I'll just go by. I have um, mushroom soup broth type of thing. So um, I plan on, you know, purchasing more flavors like that soup that my, my grocery store sells um, for later on. But, and you know, so that's where I just wanted some, I wanted soup. I wanted something to eat. And um, I knew that this was you know, the only way that I would be able to get it. And then I was craving. I don't have a period because I had my um, uterus taken out, but I still get all of the symptoms of having a period. I still get, um, you know, the moodiness, the bloating. Um, sometimes I get cramps. Um, and when I get cramps, they're debilitating. And that was the whole reason why the uterus went, was because the bleeding was heavy. But uh, anyway, so... Um, if I were to have a period, this would be it right now. So, of course, yesterday I was craving chocolate really, really bad. And, um, I, I have been, like, for the last two days. So, I had that Atkins bar. Hoping it would satisfy that, even though it tastes disgusting, um, satisfy that chocolate craving. And it did. It satisfied it. It took care of it. But it was disgusting. I think the best parts were the chocolate chips in it, other than it was disgusting. It kind of tastes like peanut butter on foam. Um, <laughs> so, yeah. So I over, I, I know I went over the calorie intake. Um, I think 
Well, maybe I hit 1,200. Maybe, maybe I hit 1,200. I don't remember. Once I scanned it in, I don't remember where I was at. Because the cream of mushroom soup also is high in carbs and high, it, it, it high in calories. So that's what, why I'm saying that. Um, I think the cream of mushroom soup has 12 carbs. So I know I, I went over the carbs and I went over the calories. Um, so I would have to adjust for that. And so basically what that would be is I would be able to have a protein bar um, sometime in the day. Um, just because protein bars are so high in sugar and carbs comparatively to everything else that I'm taking in. You know, um, I'll look at it again, but if I remember correctly, the protein bars are like the first in on the list for carbs and um, calories. You know, my protein shakes are pretty, I mean, the, the premier protein shake, uh, no, the uh, pure protein, the banana flavor, that kind of has a little, that has more um, carbs than some of the other ones. Um, so I'll have to see on that. Uh, today I have strawberry, so we'll have to see. I didn't scan it in yet, so we'll see what, um, what that outcome is. But, you know, but I gotta be able to have something that tastes, that I like, that tastes good. You know what I'm saying? Like I can't have everything bland just to piecify this. Um, the ISO pure drinks are not, they have zero carbs. So those are not an issue. I mean, I think they're 60 calories, so that's not an issue. It's the shakes and the protein bars that cause the problems. I don't think eggs have very high calories or carbs, um, but I'll look at it when I, when I get to the office and, and find out exactly where the problem is. And then I'll have to adjust. That's all there is to that. Um, nothing else, really. I'm, I'm feeling okay. I'm sluggish. I am tired. Um, and I just think it's because I'm not consuming, you know, anything that really has substance to it. You know, um, I did get all of my 64 ounces of fluids in yesterday. Um, I tried the ISO Pure um, fruit punch drink, and it was it was good. It, they're better ice cold than they are warm, so um, I've learned to add lots and lots and lots and lots of ice, and then let it melt throughout the day. And um, of course, when you get to the bottom, the ice is almost gone, and it doesn't taste very good. But suck it up and drink it but other than that it was it's better to drink them cold than it is to drink them warm um, so and I drink them watered down compared to what you know I don't drink it out of the bottle the way it is I drink them watered down and one bottle is an entire day um, today I have green apple so we'll see how that tastes and so so far I like the grape the best the blue raspberry is okay. It's all right. Um, fruit punch is good too. It's not too bad. And the grape is good. Um, and then they have some other flavors, which I'll order some other ones as well. I'll, you know, I'm going to have a variety of um, other ones. But I just got, I have four cases of it sitting in my, my pantry right now. So I got to find something to do with them. Um, but I will order, I think they have like iced tea flavored and lemon flavored. So I'll order those as well. Um, I did order more of their uh, ISO Pure Infusion, their powder. So I will definitely give those a try. I'm going to mix it all up to make it so that way it's different and it's not constant and I don't get tired of drinking the same thing all the time. And um, that's the only way I know that I'm going to be successful is making sure that I keep things going. And then... Um, you know, so I still have my liquid stevia that I can add to stuff, uh, you know, my water and um, other things to make it so that way it's not so bland. Because, um, you know, I, I'm not a big fan of just plain water. 
Um, I used to be, and I'm just not anymore. I go through phases where it's like, yeah, I can drink water in, in warm or cold, and then no, I can only drink warm water, and then no, I can only drink cold water, and now I can't drink any clean water. It's got to be flavored water. It's got to have some flavoring in it, whether it's frozen fruit or liquid stevia or something. It's got to have something in it, and um, I'm trying to stay away from the frozen fruit right now just because I know that it's all sugar, and um, you know, so for right now, I'm trying to stay away from I'll bring it back in. I mean, my freezer's full of it just because that's how I drink my water. So I'll bring that back in, you know, in a couple of months. But for right now, I'm just going to stick with the ISO Pure because it's got protein in it. Um, you know, all of these drinks that I'm having are half my daily intake of protein. And so that's why I am sticking with them because I really need that daily intake of protein. And I can't obviously... Um, add protein to the water and I mean I can but to buy liquid protein is really really expensive so um, I looked so it, that's not an option um, at this point maybe I'll buy a small bottle and it's something that I add later on I don't know I don't, I don't even know how it tastes I don't know we'll see um, but yeah so right now that's the plan and then um, in a couple of months, I'll add it. And who knows, maybe I'll add fruit to the to the ISO Pure infusion, and maybe that'll help bring, make the taste better, or maybe bring... But for right now, I, I have to stay away from the fruit because of all the sugar that they have in it. And I know it's just, I'm drinking it, but that's all that's coming in the water is the sugar, and the flavoring is, you know, is there too, but most of it's sugar. So, um, that I'm just staying away from that for right now. I can't tell you how much I really do miss eating. I miss flavors of food. I miss the flavors. You know, I have so much stuff in my cabinets that I just want to eat. And I know I can't. And I know it's going to be sitting there for quite some time. But that's okay. It'll be there. I mean, it's not unhealthy stuff either. I mean, I do have raviolis in the freezer that I want. But I know I can't have them right now. So I will save them for later. And I know that you can, you know, you got to eat stuff like that in moderation. And I will. It will. It, it will be okay. <laughs> it will be okay. So, um, I got steak that I want to eat. I seen this picture of a steak online, and it, oh my god! I don't have any in the freezer. I, I mean, I don't have any in the freezer. But I seen a picture on the on online of a steak. And, excuse me. I just wanted. I want steak so bad. I love steak. I love steak and mushrooms. Steaks, steak, mushrooms, and onions. Oh my god, that's my favorite meal in the entire world. A steak, medium rare. Oh, yummy, 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 yummy. So anyway, <laughs> I'll stop teasing myself because I can't have any of that. Um, that's it. Not anything else. You know, it's Thursday. Tomorrow's Friday. Then I got Saturday, then Sunday is an all liquid diet. No, no solid foods whatsoever. And, um, you know, I'm surprised with all of this liquid, I'm not pooping more. Like, I don't understand that. Like, I expected to be pooping a whole lot, and I'm not. That's kind of weird. Um, and I seen on the, 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 uh, the sleeve support group that people have a problem with constipation, which is so weird because you're having nothing but pureed food, nothing but liquids. You would think you would be pooping more, and you're really not. It's so weird. So now I know why they say buy my Lanta. <laughs> um, so this weekend is the weekend, you know, I do have to go get the prescriptions for surgery, and I gotta go get the gas X, and I gotta go get the my land time. I wanna be prepared with all of that stuff. Um, and uh, a stomach compression is what I was I was told to get to help with the gas, and, and so I already have one, and, um, but I might just buy a different kind. Because the one I have, 
I mean, it may be just fine. I don't know. Um, we'll see when, when I'll, make, I'll probably order a new one. Um, so, yeah, so, and then, um, that's it. The shitty part is, is I'm doing this by myself. Um, I've got no one to be there. James has to work. And I really, we can't really afford him taking the day off. If I am, you know, who knows if I have, how many days I have to take off. So, can't really afford that. So, um, yeah. Uh, I'm doing it by myself. I gotta find a ride there Monday. And then James will be there after he gets out of work. And then, um. have to find a ride home Tuesday um, and I'm sure I'll be able to find a ride from somebody on Tuesday so that's the only shitty part well you guys have a wonderful day you know what I say the best investment you can make is an investment in you what are you investing in you today um, today I am going to continue to try to make a better me a better healthier me um, by continuing to do what I'm supposed to do to be successful in this weight loss process. And this weight loss process is to make me a healthier person. Hopefully it helps get rid of, you know, the breathing issues and the, the muscle, the joint issues. And um, I don't have a lot of joint, I have an elbow issue, I should say. Um, and I don't have any other joint issues, nothing else hurts, but my elbow kills me. Um, so yeah, I'm hoping hoping for some relief on all of that and uh, and the plant fasciitis hoping for some relief on that because that kills me every morning getting out of bed and I've had that for I don't know 15 years so uh, yeah that is it so you guys have a wonderful day and I will check in with you tomorrow on 